What is positivism? Positivism is construed more broadly as a way of looking at the world from the vantage point of scientific method. And as a philosophical doctrine, positivism holds the belief that only those objects or events that can be experienced directly should be the object of scientific inquiry. This means that, for the positivists, there are facts about the human world which are objectively true and that they can be discovered and understood through a scientific method. This explains why the positivists consciously avoid metaphysical speculations, such as questions regarding the nature of God, freedom, and the immortality of the soul. The French philosopher Isidore Marie Auguste François Xavier Comte, or simply Auguste Comte, was considered the father of positivism. Comte was also considered as the founder of sociology and the first philosopher of science in the modern sense of the world. Comte argues that observation and experiment are the principal means in the search for truth. In fact, Comte based his philosophy on the idea that intellectual disciplines progress only to the degree that it is grounded in experience and observable facts. According to Anatole Rapoport, Comte's positivism seeks to describe only the obvious, what one can really be positive, that is, sense data. For example, as Rapoport explains, If a positivist sees a black sheep in the meadow, she will not say, there is a black sheep in the meadow. Rather, she will say, I see sheep in the meadow, one side of which is black. For Comte, therefore, the only things that one can be certain of are those that are publicly observable, namely, sense experiences that can be shared with other people. Now, since the data of science can be publicly observed, then we can be certain about them. For example, scientific laws such as the law of buoyancy can be publicly observed and can be experienced by other people. This is exactly what Comte considers as scientific knowledge. When applied to the study of society, Comte's positivism relies specifically on scientific evidence, such as experiment and statistics, to reveal the true nature of how society works. In addition, as Comte would have us believe, a scientific analysis of society would show us the way to address the pathologies of that society.